Hey, welcome back. Today we've got another car that's in need of some work. Took on a deer and lost, as usual. So this is an older car, not a lot of electronics in it, so that's actually a good thing. Uh, it's a simple A to B car, and we're gonna see if we can rehab it, put it back on the road. We've got the trailer hooked up to our Jeep Liberty here. Knock on wood for no breakdowns. Let's go take a look together. thumbnail but we're gonna get a up close look at it here before we try to start it we'll take a look at everything with it I think I forgot the jump pack which I was going to bring so hopefully the battery starts the car up we will see boy hey got a little squirrely there with the trailer Definitely needs some work, but what car doesn't? Even the newer ones seem to. Most we're gonna leave you in here. So you can rest. Roll the window down so it doesn't lock us out. Because he's done that before. Let's go take a look at it. It's hard to walk out here, there's so much ice. We're trying to get this before the winter snowstorm comes in. There's another one coming in, of course. Seems to happen. Here's the front, you can see it took on a deer. Broke the bumper, broke the headlight, dented the hood, dented in the fender. I don't know if that was from the D or not, that underneath part right there, but that's busted too, so it's going to need a new front bumper. It's got aftermarket hubcaps on it. You can just see the ice. I'm having a little trouble walking around it. Ford Escort LX. Should wear my warm coat for this. I've got a dent right here on the side. Let's go ahead and open it up here. Okay. Well, I don't see a dome light. Keys in it. Oh, that's good. I'll shut that off. Take it out, I guess. There we go. Sounds like we won't need the jump pack. Looking in here, 36,575, so 136,000. Bucket seats, gotta love those. Totally sweet. got the rear hatch the cardboard and the carpet that goes on that Jeep Liberty part would you look at that I wonder who has a Jeep Liberty those seats will fold out but there's enough stuff in there we'll see if the back hatch opens up maybe it's trying like some John Deere armrest there. Sander, hey, we might be able to use that for our sanding jobs for some different spots. That's cool. Dust catcher. Looks like a grill cover. Skid plate for a Jeep Liberty. Blocks. Hey, look at that. There's a saw. Wonder what size that is. Not the biggest, but we could probably make use of that. Sweet. There it is. There's the grocery getter shot. This thing could probably hold a lot of groceries. Let's close this up. Put 
hood's either popped or broken from the deer. It's popped. Let's grab this. One point nine SEFI Ford, and I think I think that the motor was cleaner than this from what I remember. But that power steering reservoir popped right here. But yeah, and that might have shot some oil all over the place. I think you can actually see some right up here from when it hit the deer. I'll have to replace this. I think that's the only thing mechanically wrong with it. I think it's still got fluid in it for coolant I should say let's see oh yeah it sure does it's tilted back though spilling out a little bit let's get that back on maybe can we there we go engine oil looks good as far as the level goes Use an oil change, I'm sure. Otherwise, just a simple little car. We'll go ahead and put this up on the stand, see if we can get this fired up and on the trailer. Four quarts, I'm gonna go get Dad. This is actually my sister's car. So she'll be happy that it gets put back on the road. Someone else can make use of it. She's got a different car at this point in time. I'm gonna start it up and back it up and cut it off. Yeah, I'm gonna back up and I'll put them down, yeah. so they don't bend at least more than they need to. Yeah. Should be okay as long, yeah. as long as you keep everything it should be yeah another thing we can do is once you get over the hump we can also use the front hitch deal to jack it up that'll tilt the back end down all you can do is try it and if it don't work you're gonna have to back down in further all right and not have that You're doing good. Just watching the back ramps to make sure they're going to stay down for the rear tires. Which is what I figured. Back up. Or just keep coming. There you go. Grab. Okay. Do it again. 
there now give it some gas stay to this your wheel just like it is gotta give it more gas right away to get it going okay okay almost back up a little more try it again okay oh right there Give it, let it, give it a little, just a little, let it, let it pour, give it a little. There you go. Good, good, keep coming. Keep coming, doing great. Once the tire got warm enough, it melted the snow and bit. You're actually good right where you're at. All right, park it there and you can tell more once we get out on the flat. Work great. I'm just glad this was our tire that was grabbing because the other one was on the ice, so this was the one that was powering on the dry wood. <laughs> oh man, we're gonna get an actual car trailer at some point, so I don't have to do to hazard it. <clears throat> well, what it needs is just smaller tires. These are way higher than what they're supposed to be, taller. So if we go to a small tire, like the rims that are on the Jeep, take those off put a small trailer tire on it it'll drop it down and then you'll be fine no this oh I yeah shouldn't that have to too. do that yeah, it, yeah but you, to... could, you could still fix that all you got to do is just change the angle of it and poof oh you're doing good i'm too old to do this stuff what you could have done was gone out the back way to the back door or out you just the back tell me the easy way to get out it's okay i just need to see yeah i know i know there you go. Thank you. But that's all you had done too with it is on that. But you're good. You're good. Oh. Worked out good. Like a rumba. Oh, <sighs> rolling and that caused us the most freaks of the little ones. Those, once the tires get on there, it grabs right away on them. Just to make sure. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Good job. You're limping. No, I wasn't limping. I was making sure I wasn't going to fall. <laughs> Holy mackerel, it's slippery out here, too. Yeah, that's what I say. Here, at least, why there's no wind. Back there, there was the wind, too. Yes. That's why I said bring it around front and block off. You're just going to have to find a spot on the, on the front. Yeah, uh, right there. Yeah. Wheel tie up, same thing in the back. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> I wore my going to town vips. Yeah, I noticed. Oh no. Mrs. Two Stall is gonna be wondering why I did that. Yeah, she is. It's a good thing you go on your trip. And then you can put your deal out here. It's a holy ball. Thanks a lot. Oh, look what you did. <laughs> Right here? Why? Off the back. Yeah. Yeah. There's one on that side. 
Don't slip. <laughs> yes, sir? Yeah. I don't think there is. Yeah, there is. Go look at it, sir. Well, should we do this? No, go ahead. Uh, if you can get the right amount of pressure, the problem is going to be you're going to hook to here and it's back here. So you got to make pull sure you, yeah, pull it up that way. That's all. How long's your strap on that one? If you could reach up to here, about 300 foot, that would be good because then you could hook the up into here. Up in here, and let it go around the tire. Holy cat, you're limboer. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Good oh, job. Good. Nice and taut. See how we pulled it into the tire? Yeah. That's good. Good job, Dad. These spinners, we should try to save those dubs. Oh, better watch out for that. <laughs> this should pop out, and I think this will buff out. It's too bad it's not a 1993 Dodge Dynasty. Yeah. But it's a XP. All right, well, it's on the trailer. Someday we might get an official car trailer, but this is hauled even a, a three quarter ton pickup truck. So we're gonna pull it home before it starts raining again and causing more ice. We'll see you at the farm. How do you get in something so little when you're a little bit older, right? I'm not terribly old, but it's a little window into a little car. I feel like I can barely fit my boot in here. Look at this. Not my booty, my boot. Well, that's gonna do it for today. Glad we got it home, got it home safely too. We're we'll working on that sometime coming up here in the near future. And uh, until next time, I hope you guys have a good day. Thanks for hanging out. Consider hitting that subscribe button if you want to. Facebook, Instagram. We'll see you guys. Bye-bye.